Good afternoon, Falcons. I'm Azaria. And I'm Cassidy. We have so much in store on this week's episode, and we can't wait to share it with you. On this episode, Crystal and Kayla find out everyone's spring break plans. Ariana gives some advice on how to reach that perfect body. And overtime with Marquise and Gianni. All that and much more on this edition of the NAFO News. Something cold, baby, cheers to this. Sometimes you gotta stay in. And you know where I live. Yeah, you know what we is. Sometimes you gotta stay in. in. Welcome to my house. Baby, take control now. We can't even slow down. We don't have to go a while. Welcome to my house. Play that music too loud. Show me what you do now. We don't have to go a while. Huh. Welcome to with warmer weather surrounding us, it's clear that spring has arrived, bringing happy moods and bigger smiles. And also, spring break. Spring fever is running through the halls, making it hard to keep up in school. Personally, I'm just looking forward to break and have no clue what's going on. Thankfully, Seth can fill us in on all the upcoming events at Nation Ford. Hey Falcons, I'm Seth, and I'm bringing you this week's announcements on what's going on at Nation Ford. Shout out to all of our journalist kids for winning 13 awards at the SIPA convention in Columbia, South Carolina. A Midsummer's Night's Dream. No, it's not a play, it's actually prom. Buy your tickets today starting at $35. This Saturday, make sure you go to Winthrop University to catch their ladies lacrosse team face off against West Point. All are welcomed. Time is running out. Half of our students still have not bought a yearbook and there's only a limited supply. Hurry up and buy yours today. Light it up blue, Nation Ford. April is Autism Awareness Month. Starting March 8th through the 18th, we are selling Autism Awareness shirts starting at $10. Buy yours today. Shout out to our Nation Ford mock trial team as they compete in state. Good luck, guys. On Tuesday, March 8th, was National Women's Day. Let's head over to Miss Brock for more. Hi, so today we are celebrating International Women's Day at Nation Ford High School. This day is for everyone, women and men, because a gender equal world creates a stronger community and well-founded world. It's also a day to really evaluate where gender equality is and make a plan for what we want it to look like for future generations. And that's been your weekly announcements. Now back to you, Azaria and Cassidy. It's awesome that our school acknowledges important days like International Women's Day. But March is also Mental Health and Self-Harm Awareness Month. Around 50% of people who take part in self-injurious behavior start at age 14 and continue on in their 20s. This is the same age as many of us and our friends. There are numerous organizations around the country to help prevent self-harm. Hey Falcons, I'm David. I'm here to talk about one of the biggest issues that deserves in the spotlight so we can help prevent it. In the Fort Mill area, there is an organization known as the Door of Hope who helps teen girls who may struggle with depression and or self-harm. Depression is a serious mental illness that affects nearly 8% of the entire American population. If you think you may be one with depression, do not fear because it takes a stronger person to admit it than to hide it. Door of Hope is an organization that helps teens and young women who are struggling with self-injury. If you want to learn more about Door of Hope, you could visit us at our website which is www.dooroofhope with the number four teens.org. At the website, you can learn more about Door of Hope and how to contact us. We offer a texting hotline that is available on Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday evenings from 8:30 till 10 p.m. You could text us at 803-570-2062. You can contact us and one of our recovery coaches would be more than happy to help you get through the process of healing from self-harm. And we want to offer you hope that you can recover and heal from self-injury. Thank you so much for the time and I love you all. Now back to Azaria and Cassidy. So Azaria, do you have any plans for spring break? Not really, I'll probably be at home. Well, Kayla and Crystal got an inside look around the town to see what everyone else is doing for spring break. Hey Falcons, I'm Crystal. And I'm Kayla. And we're here at Walter Elijah Park to see what local Fort Millians are doing for their spring break. So what are you going to do for your spring break? I want to go to the, the new play park. 
Um, like, I like to play with my toys. You knowing and chilling with my friends. <laughs> what? I'm gonna date. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna dance, go to the pool, and eat lots of ice cream. Ooh, exciting. What are you gonna do for your spring break? <laughs> Me too. Eat brain. Eat brain. They run around an ice cream truck and walk here selling ice cream to all the little kids. Have a safe spring break. Now back to you guys. Unfortunately, I won't be able to hit the beach this break, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Yeah, it'll give you more time to work on that perfect beach body. Even if I found the motivation to work out, I wouldn't know where to start. Well, I'm no personal trainer, but I know Ariana is. Let's check out some workouts that she has that'll spring you back into shape. Hey Falcons, I'm Mariana. As I'm sure a lot of you know, I'm a kickboxing trainer, and with summer right around the corner, it's time to kickstart our bodies into beach ready mode. So what we're gonna do today is a quick workout that you can do at home, and I'm gonna show you the steps. We're gonna warm up with the Heisman Shuffle. So it's a little bit of a three step. So you just one, two, three, lift your knee high. One, two, three, lift it high. That's what you're gonna do. It's a, like a high knee, but then with extra at the end. Your resistance band, and you're going to put it around your ankles. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna shuffle. A little bit like that. It doesn't look like a lot, and it's not a lot of movement, but you wanna feel the burn in the outside of your thighs. Wait, so you're gonna grab your dumbbells. Get your feet in an athletic stance. Bend your knees, one foot forward, one foot back. Bring your hands up into a guard position, and with whatever hand goes along with your front leg is what's gonna go forward first. So you're just gonna twist it forward like that, bring it back, and then twist across with the other, and you're gonna notice how my foot does a pivot so that I get a turn in my core. And you're gonna switch after you've done a few to the other side, same thing, forward hand, back hand. So what you're gonna do for the first breath you're just going to straighten your leg back out at butt level, and you're gonna lift. Just a little movement. You're gonna do 50 on each side. And then the next thing that you do is a donkey kick. So you're gonna pull it up into the same place, and you're gonna bend your knee at nine degrees and lift the same way. You're gonna start with a little hop, go down onto all hands and knees, hop it back to a plank, nice deep push up, bring it up, hop your hands to your knees, and pop right out of it, just like that. Plank, so you're gonna go onto your forearms, stay on your toes, pull back through your heels, lift up through your shoulders, and really draw in through your lower abs. And that's what's gonna keep your back nice and straight, protect your back, and it's gonna work your shoulders and your abs mainly, but a little bit at the front of your thighs. All right, Falcons, so that's the workout. And to get your maximum results, you're gonna to wanna to go through it three to five times. And if you wanna add a little bit more cardio, you can add sprints or jumping jacks between the sets. And don't forget to stretch afterwards and stay hydrated. That workout just might do the trick. I'll have to try it sometime. Then you can flaunt that perfect body around the pool. Although it's not that common, staying home is equally as fun as traveling. I like to call them staycations. If you're staying at home and you want to find some fun things to do, Maya has some great places around that you can try. Hey Falcons, as you all know, spring break is right around the corner. Many students will be traveling all around the country visiting very exciting places while others will be here in good old Fort Mill. But don't worry guys, even if you're staying home this break, there's still many exciting things you can do. Well, I hope everyone will have a great spring break. Back to you guys.
I love the park. It's a nice place to hang out with friends, walk your dog, or just stroll around. While some of us will be kicking up our feet and relaxing, our athletes will be working hard to catch those dubs. Speaking of which, congratulations to our... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's Marquis and Gianni's job. What's up, Falcons? I'm Gianni. And I'm Marquise. And welcome to this week's episode of Overtime. This overtime will be a little bit different. We won't focus on the scores. We'll focus more on the players and give you an inside look at the spring sports that are starting up. You need to run with a better team. After a meet, you can see our gold medals gleam. N-A-F-O. Don't stress what the letters mean. On the tracks, how we settle things. And you won't win. Let me set the scene. Keep the 400. We out to upset your dreams. We come to run. I look up to Peyton Manning. And I look up to Nick Hayton. Uh, Clayton Kershaw because he's left-handed and good pitcher. My favorite athlete is Biba. Just Biba. Just Biba. Just Biba. Okay, my favorite athlete is mixed to screw because he's a flow god. I look up to Kobe Bryant. He's my favorite athlete. He's dominant. It feels really good that's my last year and someone has me to look up to on the team. Uh, it feels pretty good to be a senior. Uh, a lot of us are stepping up and making plays and um, being leaders, so we'll see how the rest of the year goes. Uh, it feels good. It's my last year. It's crazy as fun by, but I'm excited and hopefully uh, I'll make it to state this year. Being a senior is fun because I'm a leader. I'm sad that it's almost over, but I'm excited for my last season. My goal for the seniors is for them to have fun at Nation 4 and also on the track. Uh, I hope they achieve their goals that they came out here for, and I wish them luck for whatever they do after high school. I'm just happy to be on on this journey with them. Yeah, I just want to enjoy the moment with the seniors because the season goes by really fast and we don't have that much time left with them. My favorite song to listen to before the game is Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. I like to listen to ASAP Rocky, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, some of my favorite artists. I like to listen to anything J. Cole, maybe some Kendrick for him. Uh, my favorite song to listen to before me is Rap God by Eminem. Uh, I'd, I'd have to say my walk-up song, Party Up In Here by DMX. <laughs> With all that being said, G, who's your favorite spring sport athlete? It would have to be Mario. Hey, that's me. <laughs> you have anything else you'd like to say? Uh, that's all for this week's episode of the OT. That's all for the spectacular spring show. Have a wonderful weekend, Falcons. Look, motorcycle man, you got to chill out, bro. School acknowledges important days like International Women's Day. March is also mental health. I already have spring break. Burn up. <laughs> I want to go to the mall and eat ice cream. <laughs> I know.